Welcome back one and all, Spartacus Legends episode 45. We've come to terms with the sad loss of Real Big Vic and I think we gave him a send-off befitting of every gladiator of worth. Hopefully we're not going to see any send-offs today. We've only got really a couple gladiators of worth in the Lutus at the moment. One's worthy of that title who have actually beaten a main legend in a Primus and that's Calvanius who has done it a couple times and Galnius, who has done it once, I think. The likes of Argus and Hannibal. The Hannibal, someone suggested in the comments to call him, um, are still farming to get better. And that's where we're going to start episode 45 with the mystery challenger in the Mercatus district with Hannibal the Hannibal. We've done a little bit of farming with Hannibal since we were last with him. He has got a couple perks now. His rating's gone up to 88 on the back of those perks, and you will just see in a minute. Yeah, he's won 8 out of 8, 4 afterlife kills. He's got no boost in the market. I think we will go and try and get him a boost, so 3 gold for the guillotine boost. We've already got 2 purchased, so we'll just whack one of them with him. So he's got the guillotine perk, which we like to see. One that Real Big Vic and the Kata used to such great effect. Anyway, let's see how Hannibal... Big Balls gets on in the fight against the Mystery Challenger. Who have we got then in the market alley? We've got Dual Swords, Hannibal Big Balls against Marcus, the Misanthropia or something. Big fight. It's quick. He started it quite well. Come on. Good blow that. Dang, this is a difficult one. It's the hardest one animal's had. Punch him in the face. Dang first. He's got a couple decent perks now. Missed him with a big blow. Good moves there though. Got him with that one again, that thrusting one. It's a big one with the dual swords. Oh, that was a blatant attack there, and we're down and out. Got him with the guillotine, first time out. Hannibal showing that he can be the gladiator to fill the shoes of Nakata and a real big Vic and Hannibal Big Balls goes on to a good win in the Mystery Challenger. The next jump up for him is either Pitts or Dominius Nebulian where we lost real big Vic and I'm scared for the for our goose and Hannibal because that's the fights that lay ahead for them too really. They're big fights and I don't know if they're ready for them yet. I'm half tempted to just start throwing them in against the other ones. That's nine wins for nine. We've got that big fight, don't forget, still to come against Hannibal the Cannibal. Hannibal Mark II, big balls, could go in against him. What perk did we get? No, I've never had that one before. What does that do? Quickly recover after being knocked to the ground. We accept it. There you see the perks we've managed to muster. Oh, no, you don't see the perks we've managed to muster. Let's see if we can show you the perks that he's got so far. A couple of them we will quite happily replace when we get better ones. Um, where do we go to see his perky turkeys? There's his perk. So we got defense will regenerate 20% faster. Gladiators panacea, 15% of damage will be returned as health. That's quite a good one. Armor of the crowd, eight minutes, eight seconds when you get high favor you are invincible and that last one quickly recovers after being knocked to the ground so he's not doing too bad and you can see he's up to 198 rating which was higher than real big vic ever got so he is progressing rather nicely he's, we've got argus who's doing very well as well let's just have a look at his perks those are the two really that he's got Jupiter's Might, which is a good one. He's got the Wrath of the Brute, 
another quite decent one. He's got Coward Burden, and he's got Stride of the Fall, and he has got some really good perks about him. And he is looking to follow in the great footsteps of that gladiator of war of Juro as the Jewel Dagger King. Those are my two main gladiators at the moment. PDS needs to get better. He's been a bit of a dog, to be honest. We've got our legends in Acocletus and Masonus. We've got probably the most overachieving gladiator of all, Calvanius. Let's just have a look at Calvanius's record. He's got no. He's only got two perk slots. He's only a green. He's got no right to be such a good gladiator of worth. 24 wins from 29. Two perks. Extra defence when high off is high. And protector of the crowd. He's got no right to be such a good gladiator. I'd like to give him an out in, in episode 45. You haven't seen him for a bit. And then the other gladiator, who's got not a very good record, who we've got to send in at some point against... Um, Asher in the Nobilia district is Gaunius, whose record is indifferent to say the least, to be fair. He's only got the three, he's got the fortification one, he's got Fury, which is okay, and he's got Tragic Blessing. He's got three perks, but again, we need to think about sending him in against Asher. That might be a fight that's going to come up soon, because if we lose him, we lose him. Um... Got another goal. Just take that. Two gold. Very nice too. We're going to see Galnius in action against the Jewel Dagger Challenger. That's next. So we're back with Galnius. We haven't seen him for a while. We're getting him primed for the big fight against Asher. That I don't really give him a hope of winning, to be honest. Asher is very quick, slimy little turncoat of a character. Real snake in the grass. Horrible man. Speaks with forked tongue. A sooner stab you in the back. No doubt about it. Anything for coin and fame and favour, Asher. Galnius is going to have his work cut out against him for sure. Because Asher is rated quite high in that fight. But it's one that we've we just got to get on and do. It's got to be with dual swords. This man... Has lost many a fight that he should have won. And that's the good start though from Galnius. He's shown that he's got something about him. Got him. It's a very good win. Gelny is showing that he's still got a bit about him. Dismissing quite an easy gladiator. But whether he's ready for the Asher fight, who knows. We will have to have a look at it. We'll go straight in with the Asher fight. Because there's every chance that if we lose this gladiator, he's not done enough to earn an afterlife party. Ixion might be in the lineup, and that's what we thrive. We thrive an Ixion in the lineup. The gladiator of Will Worth from the pits that we defeated. So episode 45, the main this fight is Gaunius going in against Asher, the turncoat, in here. And look at his rating, he's going to be 277. Cowardice or cunning, he certainly is a coward and he's very cunning. That's the fight we've got coming up. Don't go away. Galnius' his biggest fight of his life could be his last. It's fight number 26 for him. Sparty, my little pixie bobs, come up to see what's happening there. Give me a bit of a fight himself. It's a big one for Galnius against Asher. We'd love to cut his tongue out of his neck here. 
and throw it in the sand for the pigeons and crows to eat. Glad it had worth Asher my ass. Real dirty little rook. Asher would do absolutely anything to line his own purse with coin. And here he is. Galnius, his biggest night of his life against Asher the Corrupter. What a fight this is going to be. He's going to be so quick. Now oh, he's got to see. We knew how quick he's going to be. No chance against him. He's, he's so quick. Asher hadn't even lost a cent here. This is madness. He's gone, Gaunius is gone. Arm departed from shoulder, sent to afterlife from the dirty little Asher. We knew it was going to be a tough test. It was always going to be too big for Gaunius. But he's sort of at enough Royce in the Lucas now. It was time for him to go, really. He's, he, he was never going to be a gladiator of real worth because he just didn't have enough about him to step up. He wasn't Enus Penis, that's for sure. Gaunius is gone. One big fight he won when he needed to for us. But really his record wasn't the best and Asher sent him to the afterlife quite easily and Galnius has gone, 19 wins from 26, only a 0.73 record, not the best. He's gone and he will be forgotten quite easily. No, we don't resurrect. We know we don't resurrect. Why do you keep asking us this? We do not resurrect. And we are not going to resurrect here. We will go back to the Lutus and we will recruit a gladiator for the second episode in a row. Not the best thing for House Batiatus. Galnius is gone. There is a perks, there is a slot now. Please, Ixion. There's no Ixion. I will come back to you when we've decided who we are going to recruit here. It may take a while because there's no one there of worth. Big news is we've got Ixion. We've got the man that we've been waiting for. He will be recruited into our stable right this minute. And you will see him fighting in episode 45. Massive news here for Ace Batiatis. We've got the man we've been waiting for. It took quite a few refreshes, but we've got Ixion, and there he is. Look at him. What an absolute tank. Absolute tank. Let's have a look at him. What perks he's got. Ignore pain perk. Swift sandals. Gladiators. Panacea. Unfazed. Amateur's affection. 325 gladiator in the Lotus, and it's Ixion. Can't wait to demolish someone with him. Gonna have to get the hammer moves going now. We will go back to the main easy rider to start with just so we can see how he's going. Sword and shield practice. He should absolutely demolish this person. Ixion is in the Lotus. And there he is. Fantastic. Massive big news here. Biggest news we've had for a day or two. It's just what we needed. Episode 45 has come to life with the purchase of Ixion into House Batiatis, the third legend. The only legend we're missing of the ones we've defeated is Onimaeus now. My ultimate goal is to fill the Lutus with legends and any legends of my own, even if it does cost two, three hundred gold, we're prepared to put it in on this series. And there is Ixion. Can't remember the moves with this hammer. I haven't had a hammer. What a hammer he's got though. Look at it. Spikes on it the lot. Wowee. Love it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Go 
Oh, he's gone down straight away. Look at the damage. Dixie and the absolute beast. He's got the loins of a lion on his penis and he's clocking the wind. Oh, lovely. Absolutely demolished him. Ixian with the first win. Easy peasy. Suck me tease me. Ixian is in the house. He'll be at the pecking order for Royce in the morning because no one dare doubt that he's a gladiator at worth. An absolute legendary character. We've talked about him so much. We've now got our hands on him. And that can only be for the good of this series. He will have another fight against an easy peasy rider just so we can get used to the hammer and you can get used to seeing him in action trouble is this is always someone a bit harder early on <laughs> it's one of these goat things and they're always slightly harder than you think they're gonna be because it's a legend they always dish up good people against you fight two for Ixian coming up probably against a goat it is a goat. Galnius was sacrificed so he could get Ixian in many ways. It turned out alright. This ain't going to be an easy fight because this goat will be nearly 300. You can bet your bottom dollar. Rufus the mountain goat. Look at him. Christ, he's absolutely giving it to this mountain goat, hammering into the ground like no tomorrow. Well, we've been caught. We didn't want to get caught. Never after like girl Ixian doesn't hang around and there's a goat gone this time. The goat is gone. This is some gladiator we've got here on our hands. Really is. A real gladiator of worth in Ixian. He thrusts the hammer with real purpose. Do you want one more fight of Ixian before the end of the day? We think we do. Just This is a celebration of Ixian, really. We will have one more fight with Ixian. And we may well finish episode 45 with this fight. We've lost Galnius. We don't care because Ixian's come to the house Batiatus. We knew we wanted him. It's been a long time coming, there's been a lot of hype about it. It's finally here for you to see, and this is a celebration of that. Hannibal the Big Boars is looking good as well to go on to be a gladiator of worth. Our goose is still climbing the ranks. We've got to decide where we go with them now. Do we take a gamble of sending some of those into the pits to bring back some coin for us? Or do we go into the big Primus fight? We've got Ixia now, and there he is. What an absolute colossal. You're going down, favourite son. Don't you worry about that. It's quick though. And there's one thing about the hammer, it isn't quick. Dentist chair though. That'll do some damage. Have some of that, you goat, and stay down there. Hammered him into the ground. The goat's gone is emphatic from this man. He's destroying everything that walks in his way. An absolute legend in the truest sense of the word. Ixion, absolute god amongst men. What a gladiator. Can't believe we got him at the Lucas, and he is as good as they say he is. Let me tell you that. 
He is an amazing gladiator. Absolutely amazing. That's Ixion. Three wins out of three. Three afterlife kills for the legend that is Ixion. Promised you one last fight before we go, and it's going to be Argus. You're going to see. Mystery Challenger. Episode 46 could be a good one. We could go in somewhere different to liven it up for you, I think. Argus Mount Market Alley against a double handed swordsman. Never an easy fight, this one. Cesaria. Cesaria. Quick. Gonna have to do something here. This ain't gonna be an easy fight. Headbutting like a bantam hen. Argus coming back quite strongly here. Cicera. It's got us down, but we nearly killed him. We were hoping for an afterlife party there. Saying over, Argos could lose this. And he has lost it. How did Argos lose that? That's a terrible end of the episode. What a poor defeat for Argus. Cesaro had no right to win that. We'd had him on the ground and he came back from death's door and defeated us. Bad defeat for House Batiatus. All the elation of Ixion has gone to everybody's head. There's been too much warring women, obviously, in amongst it. And it is now all gone sour. And Argus has lost to finish episode 45 on a sour note here. That's his third defeat. And it's a bad defeat. Anyway, guys and girls, good episode because we have Ixion now in our Lutus. And I will catch you very soon for episode 46. Thank you for joining me. I've been the Pro Spartan Gamer. Chill and take care.